Good morning, it's good to be with you. It's Tuesday. Um, and I have a, a brief thought that I'd like to share with you this morning. Um, I'm uh, reading through a book uh, called, uh, it's by Eugene Peterson, it's called Earth and Altar. It's, the subtitle is uh, The Community of Prayer in a Self-Bound Society, which is uh, a really long subtitle and a fancy way of saying the church is this uh, place that is formed by prayer. And as we are formed by prayer, uh, we no longer only function out of what our selfish desires are, but we become people who depend on God for what he wants for us. Uh, that's a mouthful. Um, but in this chapter on, uh, it's called unself help. Uh, so prayer is the way that we don't just depend on ourselves for help, but become people who depend on God uh, and his help. Um, and the chapter begins uh, with Psalm 46. I'm going to read that from my Bible. Um, I'm going to read the whole thing. It's a good one. I, uh, if you have your Bible, you can follow along. Uh, but Psalm 46, the psalmist says this, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice and the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he's brought in the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Now, one of the things that's kind of uh, right at the forefront of that chapter is this is coming from the context of the people of Israel. So there's a lot of when it says our God, this is Israel claiming uh, Yahweh, the Lord Almighty, as their God and the one true God. The, and God has uh, covenanted, promised, committed himself to the people of Israel or, or the name Jacob. That comes up in the passage a lot. But just because this is written in the context of Israel doesn't mean God doesn't help us as the church. Um, if anything, we can claim these promises even stronger because Christ is the head of the church and we are intimately connected to God himself that way. So God is, uh, as Paul says, if God is for us, who can be against us? There's this real immediate help um, as we find our refuge and our shelter in God. And there's so much in this passage. And of course, the, uh, verse 10 is be still and know that I am God. And I think we can claim that as well. But there's a, a paragraph in here that really stuck out to me uh, that Eugene Peterson writes about this. And his whole chapter is focusing on not relying on ourselves to get, uh, like, muster up the strength to get out of situations or, or get ourselves through things. And even the idea of self-help um, is a big deal in our culture. And Eugene Peterson is arguing against that. Not that it's bad uh, to grow and certainly not that it's bad to seek help, uh, but the foundation has to be um, God is the one who is helping us. And this is what he says. Um, we are helped not by taking care of ourselves, but by being taken care of. Not by garrisoning ourselves behind thick walls of indifference, but by risking life in the world with a God who helps us. Not by reducing our lives to the trivial dimensions of a self-help project, but by venturing into the unfamiliar and untested expanses of grace. The great affirmation and insight of the life of faith is that help is being given by God all the time. And I think this is what Eugene Peterson is getting at. Not that like seeking out help is wrong and not that uh, getting help that you need is sinful or anything like that. But what he's saying here is God being the God who helps us is not just when you're in trouble, God will help you, but actually our entire lives are characterized by God's gracious help. Uh, we are brought into the life of God by grace, nothing that we can do, no strength that we can muster up, but by faith through grace, we are brought in to uh, the community of God. 
and then our entire lives are God's help. Uh, so one thing that I've been doing, and I've talked about this several times, I, I think, um, is I've been making lists of things I'm thankful for. I think this is really helpful in quarantine and when there's so much unrest in the world and there's so many different opinions about everything all of the time. It's good for us to make lists of gratitude because then we recognize the things that we have aren't just because we work really hard or because we've saved up enough money or because we've been good stewards or wise with our decision making, although all those things are good. But everything has its source from a gracious, helping, giving God. And that mindset is what helps us in times of distress because we are calling on a God who has been helping the entire time. Our lives are characterized by the refuge of God, uh, by the help and sustaining grace of God. So I challenge you today to just make a list, 10 things that you're thankful for, um, and even write out, I am thankful for blank. It can be the same thing that you've done in the past. I think we've had the same uh, kind of discipline in the past, uh, but just write out 10 things that you are thankful for, and maybe even challenge yourself to do that every day this week and see how that allows you to live in God's grace in a different way. I love how he says, uh, it ventures us into the unfamiliar and untested expanses of grace. Not that God doesn't know what's going on in grace, but when we live by grace, that's always new territory for us because letting go of the things that we uh, think that we know all the time and letting that go into a God who helps us. Uh, so let me, let me pray for you, and I'll let you get back about your Tuesday. Father, thank you that you are the God who helps. Uh, train our eyes and our hearts to see that, and give us wisdom to know your help. Give us wisdom and uh, confidence to call on you in times of distress. And just make us aware of the grace and the help that you always give us, especially in your son, Jesus. Thank you for these moments. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a great Tuesday.